Hey everybody, today on my vlog I want to talk to you about what I talked to you about last time and I want to recap the copyright problems I was having. Then I want to talk to you about what I'm doing on my channel and what I plan to do in the channel in the future and ask you for your suggestions on maybe what I should do in the future. You know, if there's something you'd like to see, go ahead and say I would like to see that. Don't be shy. Uh, that basically covers that portion of it, but I'll talk about that in more detail probably if I have time. Anyways, last time I was quite angry, and maybe understandably so, but partially it was because I, there was things that were in my life that I was angry about that kind of bled over into my vlog, and because I was just annoyed about dealing with these copyright notices and having one crop up on a video that I had on for six years, that suddenly they decided to copyright a song that was in a small portion of the video, it just, it irked me in a very uh, large way because I have to deal with this personally. I mean, they can annoy us, YouTube creators, through an automated system, through very little effort. And this was a small video game song. I mean, what if, let's, here's an example. What if Nintendo copyrighted the song, the Mario theme? dun 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 dun, dun. What if they copyrighted that? They they don't, because they're not jerks! But if they did, they could just take the cop the, the money from most mo most of the Mario games, and then a lot of derived Mario Nintendo content. Uh, and they would be able to take that money without notifying the the creator. I mean the creator gets notified, but they start taking the money immediately. Now with the new system in place that I did not know about at the time, once this, once the claim is disputed, then they start holding the money, and once the dispute is settled, they award it to the winner, which is a step in the right direction, but still, for how very little effort, uh, there needs to be some sort of automated representation on our side, so that we don't have to deal with as much of this nonsense, because it's just annoying to deal with the nonsense. I mean, it just imagine, with, with just one action, on that, with that Mario theme, they would inconvenience, you know, thousands, tens of thousands of videos YouTube-wide. So, I mean, that's the systemic problem, and the fact that they would get the money from that immediately. Uh, now, I mean, you can still edit the... You can, you can edit these problems out using the uh, YouTube editing tools, which is how I got around a lot of my copyright claims. The songs are no longer in the videos, but I didn't realize that the YouTube editing tools was a form of recourse, that I could take them out utilizing that. Uh, so I do have to apologize to, to YouTube for what I said about not having uh, a lot of ways of recourse as, in terms of tools because I didn't know that that was uh, a potential avenue. I thought the only thing I could use was a song removal tool and I called that crap and it still is because it's been around for six years and it still isn't beta. But the YouTube song removal tool actually works if you hit refresh enough times and watch the video as a whole, eventually it'll get things right. So, I actually used that to remove two of my copyright notices. So I t removed two copyright notices using the song removal tool. I removed two of them using the YouTube editing software tools. So I was still able to retain the metadata on the videos, which was important to me because uh, it affects on how easily the video videos are seen. And overall, I mean, I guess some of the videos turned out to be a more concise, in a more concise format, so in a sense, from a certain aspect, you could say they kind of came out nicer, but it's still a very, it's very sad that those particular songs aren't present in the game, because they're part of the song's atmosphere, so I'm not sure I would consider it to be them to be better, but maybe from a certain perspective, if I wanted to, like, see, see, see things on the bright side, you know, Cloud has a silver lining sort of thing, maybe a more concise a uh, video would be, you know, advantageous, but still, I'm still very annoyed about the fact that they take 100% of your money from something that is just, has just a, such a small amount of uh, content in it that is copyrighted. And uh, that's also, I, I did misplace some of my anger at the, uh, at the, at the puppet show from Bento Box, uh, and at a particular uh, personnel from a multi-channel network uh, that focused on making mu music, you know, copyright claims. 
but maybe that wasn't entirely misplaced, but still, it was sort of misplaced, because I want to I wanna see things, I want to look at the bigger picture, and I was focusing on an individual, and maybe that's not the higher road, but I was annoyed at the time, so, uh, you know, I, I ask you to understand, at least, <laughs> but I am kind of embarrassed at how angry I got. Anyways, uh, that's basically where I stand. I stand by most of the things I said, but uh, YouTube's tools help me remove four out of five of the copyright claims. The one that still stands is the one that's on my Godzilla video, and that one was a completely legitimate visual claim on a part of a, uh, a Freakazoid video called Hero Boy, and it was, and it's actually going to the WB Television Network Company uh, directly. I don't know what they're putting on these days, but at least it's not going to a holding company, and it's more legitimate. And I actually like the copyright content in the video. I think that the Hero Boy thing is pretty funny. I'm not sure if I can sing the Hero Boy theme song myself without getting this video copyrighted. I don't know where it stands. But it was basically, you know, Hero Boy tries to stop Godzilla, and he uh, can't because he's a boy. He's a child. But it's like, it's, it's a parody of uh, Astro Boy, the Rocket Child uh, anime robot child Rock, who's a, like a rocket powered and stops like Godzilla type creatures uh, But in this case, he's just a boy and you know, he's very small compared to Godzilla and he, he can't but at least you made us laugh and and he was summoned by a pair of sumos high-pitched sumos sumo wrestlers Hero boy. And then hero boy would come and go I And he would like hit the leg of Godzilla and be completely ineffectual and everyone would laugh and I'm gonna leave it in I think at this point I'm gonna leave it in and let the money, 100% of the money, go to uh, the WB Network Television Company because I just like it so much. But it, it is kind of unfair that in an hour-long video, a something like a minute to two minutes, I think it's gonna, I'll, I'll say it's a two-minute clip to be fair, a two-minute clip in an hour-long video, it's a shame that that gives 100% of the profits to the Warner Brother television company and I, I thought I thought that my gameplay with me talking over songs or talking over content or being in the corner of things I thought I thought let's plays were transformative enough to be fair use but in the past when I've tried to resist these claims they would come back with a no generally the only way that a copyright claim would actually go through un is when it's uncontested, when when the company forgets to contest it, and then uh, and then it goes through just because it times out. But otherwise, it's always a no. And uh, the thing that bugs me is that, and the thing that made me angry at the puppet show is that they, when you make a copyright claim, they ask you the reason, you say fair use or whatever other reason, and um, then they give you a box. They say, make your argument, but they don't tell you who your argument is going to. Make your case. And you don't know what sort of argument you should make. I mean, obviously you should make a legal one and talk about fair use and your understanding of it. But should you make an, a, an, a, an emotional claim? Should you be willing to make a deal? Are you talking to a mediator or are you talking to the owner of the content? I believe in that box you're actually making an argument to the claimant, the actual owner of the content. And they should tell you that, but they don't. And so that's why it often gets either refused or uh, just times out. Because it's it's a holding company, and holding companies just say no. They just always say, oh, no. Uh, and then what you can do is you can make an appeal, and then the appeal goes to a mediator. But see, they, they, just, they're, they're, they don't inform you of that. They just tell you what fair use is, and just follow the rules of thumb, and you'll never need to make an appeal. Well, even if you follow the rules of the thumb, you're going to make, you're gonna need to make a copyright counterclaim, and you're gonna need to make an appeal, and you should take us through these processes step by step, and I don't think that there's a video out there that properly does that that's in the YouTube help section. So, they're just way too nebulous about it, and it pissed me off because I didn't want to hear a puppet show at that time. So I got angry at the puppet show when really, maybe I shouldn't have, but the puppet show of the Made by Bento box was still far too vague in general, in my opinion, because I'm, 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 being, I'm being given notices on, on some of the things that I thought they said were fair use. 
I thought the puppet show said we were fine. What happened, puppets? I thought we were cool, but we're not. <laughs> oh, this is what happens when you take legal advice from puppets. Mm, I'm sad. Anyways, I did that before, but you know, like, sock puppet. It's hand miming. Anyways, uh, so what am I doing these days? I am making Ultima 9 videos. I'm gonna be posting my first Ultima 9 video later today. I hope you enjoy it. It's actually been quite fun. Uh, I was asked a bunch of questions and I t found out the answer. I won't, I won't give it away, but I found out what virtue I honor, I, I, I value the most, I mean, whoops. <laughs> I just let it slip. Uh, but what 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 virtue I I value the most it turns out. Um, I'm kind of, I was kind of surprised why. Uh, you know I don't I actually don't agree with the evaluation. But uh, yeah. Anyways, so uh, what what sort of video would you like to see in the future? What sort of contents would you like to see? I've I've also been making uh, lion videos. There's going to be more lion. Uh, I was planning on bringing back Bushido Blade Two. I've got a back video of that for you. Uh, I am working... I, I can get back to work on the uh, Crush Deluxe videos. I've actually kind of taken a break from them. But I've got some backlogs. I think I still have some backlogged Crush Deluxe videos before I can actually start playing that game again. But I'm wondering if I should get rid of all the backlogged videos or just get straight to making new content of uh, Crush Deluxe and then just kind of gloss over the stuff that's come between now and then, or what? But uh, yeah, basically, should I play more arcade games? Would you like to see more arcade games? Would you like to see me uh, finish off the Planet of the Robot Monsters? Uh, there's a lot of things I can do, and a lot of ideas I have, and a lot of things I'm working on. Uh, as usual, I'm having fun with playing, just working on, I'm just working on, currently, I uh, spit it out, I'm working on Dungeon Keeper, I'm working on the Venus Wars, I'm working on Lion, and I'm working on Ultima 9. I'm working on those four things, and then other things are going to come after that, because splitting my attention beyond four things is a bit too much. But I have been occasionally working on Bushido Blade 2 and preparing that to come back, but it just isn't fully back yet. So actually those five things, but only the four are primary right now. So anyways, those are the four things I'm working on. Well, five, but four primary things I'm working on. And I'd like to hear from you what else you would like to see. Anyways, thank you for watching this vlog. I got a little bit uh, <laughs> convoluted at the end here, but... Uh, anyways, I think you get the general gist of what I've been saying. And I will see you next time. Good night.